Word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I am Devon and I'm here with Alexander. What's up? And I'm here with MZ. Woohoo! I thought you were going to say my name first, so I was like getting ready to say. Yeah, I was just, uh, you know, you switched it switching, up. switching it up, <laughs> keeping you on your toes. You did. You can't, you know, if you're not ready. comfortable, you're out of your zone, you know what I mean? No, if you are comfortable. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've done it again. <laughs> I've done it again. <laughs> this week, we're this starting week. with Alexander's article first. Uh-huh. Don't know what it's about. You're switching it up as well. Yeah, I know. Oh, shit. Look at this. You ready? So, this woman at King's, Col- King's College Hospital was having brain surgery, but she's part of an orchestra and she's a violinist. Oh, I saw so, this, I think. Yeah, it, it's, it's mad. In order to keep her talent, she's like, look, I obviously need to go through the surgery. I'm paraphrasing here. She probably never said any of this. <laughs> I need to go through the surgery, but... I cannot afford to lose this talent. You know, she's 53 year old woman. She's had it a whole life. It's a big part of her life. So during the surgery, in order to make sure that they didn't touch parts of the brain that would affect her talent, yeah. she played the violin during brain surgery. Yeah. And I, I don't know the science of it, but I'm guessing like it would have made certain parts of her brain active and they could have visually seen it. Wait, I know this I is. Know. This I'm is, guessing. I'm I know this, this is a serious point, topic, but. but my thing is like they're doing surgery, and you know that game where like you can't, you got to take the organs out, but not press oh, the like oh, um, operation. Hot operation. Uh huh. <laughs> what did you call hot it? Potato. potato. <laughs> I meant. I meant operation. Op- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I meant operation. So I'm thinking every time like she's playing the violin, and then she like the doc presses um like starts pressing part of the brain that's. That's um, yeah. affecting the violin, and she goes, "Oh, he goes, oh, we'll put that back." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is insane. Are you kidding me? It says one of the I comments thought- says, um, "This is to make sure they don't cut into any main functioning tissues. They do the same if they're cutting an area that has to do with speech. They'll have the patient awake and identifying symbols on flashcards." Fun fact, the brain has no pain receptors, which is why she can she doesn't feel anything whilst it's happening. The brain? But what about like the head? They probably give a local head, they probably give a local for the head. Can we, you he- we got a video going. Yeah, We've can you hear that? Video going. That's her playing. She's playing. Oh, and the and the surgeon is like, carry on, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Carry on. It's kind of I a win-win reckon- win for both of them, isn't it? She gets the little she loves and they get some beautiful music. Yeah. In surgery. I, this, this has to be a first for the surgeon. But uh, like another f- a thought that's gone in my head, like, you know, when you get a haircut and the hair, it, like you can't move too much. So it's awkward for her to play. Yeah. Like, you know, Especially when you the, when they're doing like, a fade. Yeah. Like the violin. Like yeah. You use your head to play the violin as well, don't you? To see even more. Yeah. You're like, it's an awkward... <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. You know, but it's it's quite sad as well, though. But she she actually looks quite sad. She looks quite sad. I don't know how you're supposed to look when your brain's open. I don't. I'm All wondering right. if she's playing and they've got her brain in front of them. Mm. The parts that are activated. It. Does it actually make? Does it actually like pulsate or? I can't see that from the outside, no? I don't know. So is it just a case of if they literally get the wrong area and she things start going sour with her playing, they're like, oh, but like what possibly. you said, like, oh, that's the wrong part. Yeah, I don't, but I don't know. Is there any, is there any point? Like, what do you mean? What's, what you're saying is they damage the part that's going to affect it. And then they oh, go, someone's oh, asked this so, exact question. Is that, is that not just like a real time way of knowing that you've messed her life up but <laughs> you haven't prevented it if that was the case yeah. <laughs> like, oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. well then someone said so someone asked this question and they said if the doctor maybe hits a part of the brain it could stimulate that part of the brain and what that part of the brain controls oh, they don't know either <laughs> 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 I don't know but I need, we need a brain surgeon on here please oh now 
Yes. Let, let's put it out there. Any brain surgeons that listen to the B-side word in between this... While we're recording. While we're recording. <laughs> um, I don't know what the chances that are. Probably slim. Not even slim. Probably zero. Um, get in contact with us. Yeah, I've, I've tried to... Uh... I've tried to skim through this article to figure it out, but I can't. Maybe we'll figure it out and come back to it another day. But yeah. <laughs> this my question a- to you. Yeah. If you're having brain surgery tomorrow. Yeah. What, 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 like, talent or skill, or what would you want to, if, if it's oh, like, okay, question. like, we might, we might remove a lot of functionality from your life, like, what thing are you going to keep? That is a very, very good question. Uh, I, well, I, I know what I would love. I'd love Speech. to suddenly be able to speak a different language. Well, no, no, you don't not, add. We're not a, adding you don't skills. Add <laughs> Please, talents. can we just add that? Is is not going in and <laughs> like <laughs> we'll adding add pieces to your brain? Bit of that. <laughs> um, <laughs> good question. You, you guys aren't Speech. the first. I need to figure out. Speech. Memory. So we're going for pure Memory. fundamental. Yeah, because I still Speech. want to be able to. Because my recall is not that good, but I still want to be able to do the podcast. So, <laughs> mate, what, what's involved in the podcast? <laughs> what's involved? You know what I mean? What would you? What would memory. you? Memory. I, I don't want to take my memory's pretty bad. What, as what it are you is. talking about? Take that away. That's like probably it's pretty bad. You, as it, you what, probably what, have a reason. If I woke up and then I didn't know who you were or the kids. Oh, score. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I think memory's a bad one. What about you, Zans? Yeah, what about you, Zans? I think I think I've got problem solving. Oh. Problem solving. You're such a logistical person. I know that's such logical. a boring answer. <laughs> not logistical. Not logi- there's a lot of. Logistical. He's not a, in the warehouse. Logical. He's not in a warehouse and moving stuff. No. <laughs> I feel like it'd be. I feel like it's a very boring answer, but problem solving is such a big part of my life. Like. The industry I'm yeah. going into, it's really relevant. I, mm. if I have mobile, if I have games on my on my phone, like they're normally puzzle games. Yeah, like I like watching riddles and things. Like if I couldn't string, if I couldn't critically think properly. Yeah, oh, I think I'll he just, needs his high no, order yeah. thinking. My humor. Don't get rid of my humor. So I have to tell Do jokes all some? the time. Do I have some? <laughs> <laughs> That's wit. That's not. Is that wit? Wait. My one or your yeah, one? Yeah, your one. My, I don't have any. What? Of anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what you do? You know what you could lose oh. your gull- gullibility. Yes. Gullibility. Imagine, gullibility. I'll, yeah, you'd be like, oh, I want to no. lose my phobias. Get rid of those. Oh. Anxiety on Ooh. my that, phobias. That's funny. What is something you'd want to lose phobias. if you had yeah. brain surgery? That's a yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. And also the urge to eat. Huh? <laughs> I could do with losing that. So you want to gain willpower? Yes. Add a little bit more willpower in along with the foreign languages. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a checklist for the doctor. Look, I don't want to lose most of the stuff, right? But could you add willpower and Spanish? <laughs> willpower and Spanish, thanks. <laughs> And get rid of the chocolate cravings. <laughs> what the hell? I don't think that's what Alexander's asking. And you keep putting in these chocolates. Um, they oh, would be good. Is there is there um is there a muscle in the brain for like losing weight? Um, <laughs> could I lose weight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, muscle gain. Is there a muscle <laughs> for muscle gain? Only on this part of the body. Only on this. <laughs> oh goodness, I don't know. I just feel like. We need scientists, a scientist to come and explain how this works. Mm. I think it's pretty incredible, but like, I don't know how it works. I'm just, I'm a bit. Apparently it's very complex. Is it very Com- common? Ooh, I don't know. Is that a common Ooh. practice? I don't know. Because it's. Wait, brain brain yeah. surgery in of itself to me is already amazing. Mm. But the fact that they can now. Or at least uh, I think they can avoid certain areas of the brain mm. that do certain stuff. Like, yeah, is it, it? Are they okay? Are they actually? Are they doing it, or is it guesswork? Is that why they've got a plan? Because because they have absolutely no idea how to not affect the talent. 
So they're going, well, if you play, maybe maybe we'll be able to save it. I, I don't know. Maybe it'll be obvious when we open up your head. Who knows? Oh, we'll who see. Knows? <laughs> Find That's out next crazy. time on Brain Surgery. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy that they remove a piece of the skull, like just take that's a hell of a piece of a skull, and then put it back on. Well, so there's this BMX rider that I watch on YouTube called Matt, not Matt, Scotty Kramer. He was he's like a nine time X Game medalist, yeah, very accomplished guy. And I started watching his YouTube channel back in 2017, I want to say. Or 2016. Um, and a month after I started watching it, he went through a horrific crash. Uh. Um, his bike tire got stuck in a gap that he, you couldn't tell was there. And he just went slammed straight over the handlebars, face into the ground. Yeah. And he like he's now he's a partially quadriplegic like oh, he's man. partially paralyzed and stuff and like he's he can move around like you wouldn't necessarily notice just looking at him yeah um there he is but like seeing his road to recovery the whole thing at first he had to have his forehead removed like his oh. entire forehead removed um so they could deal with the brain and let the swelling go down and all that kind of stuff and then they had to they ended up putting it back in afterwards oh, but, like you're saying like goodness. removing a piece of the skull like that was pretty intense it's like he was still doing his youtube and stuff while going through the recovery so you got to see all this mm. no that's that's <coughs> intense it's so sad that's a that's a that's oh. what well, it's sorry sad. for people it, having to go it, through it, brain surgeries and yeah that's horrid it is horrid i say it was very sad and like it sucks it happened to him. obviously an extreme talent like the guy was very hard working very talented guy um but seeing like his road to recovery going from like the guy was in one of those uh, you know, like those electric wheelchairs. Yeah. Like he could only move his yeah. hand to be able to control it and stuff. Like one minute warning. Yeah, it was uh, like as a person, you could tell like was a shell of himself, all that kind of stuff. Aww. But now, when you see where he is now, like he's back on a bike. Like no, he's not what well, he was at all. But he's back on a bike and he can do some basic tricks now and stuff. And like to see the ability to go from where he was to now, and he is still, as I said, like he, he's partially quadriplegic like he doesn't yeah. have feeling in certain things his his hands and his feet don't work properly but he can still like get back to that i, I was like you that wonder, kind of stuff I, like if you've had like a mental approach accident doing a sport or something having the guts to go back out and do it again is like people that like surfers that get bit by sharks and they're like oh i'm gonna go definitely go out back mm. in the water again mm. that's the passion isn't it gutsy <sighs> Ugh, I, I, I freaked out just going mm. back on the basketball court after rolling my ankle. What? Yeah, because I'd, <laughs> no. I'd think, oh, gosh, it's going to happen no, again. No, it's no, no. It's going to happen again. Really? Yeah. Like, uh, only you know, for, like, for the first few weeks back, you're like, oh. Oh, you're ah. tender. You're tender. But then that, you worry. that doubt uh, usually fades away pretty quick. It does fade. Like, I, I get, uh, when um when I saw one of um when I was watching football and I saw someone break his leg. Oh, that was horrific. What you Oh, yeah, that story you told his, me. And you're like, "Oh, yeah, so that that ha- I seen it in oh, real life." Oh, you saw life. this in person? I saw I saw I actually saw this in real life. So, like um Ooh. this this guy um he was like well playing against and he was very aggressive the whole match and I was like I was like stuff this guy, right? So I started chasing him down and I was going to give him a bit of a tap. Anyway, so I'm chasing him down and he gets the ball and then he turns. But when he turns, his foot gets trapped in the um in the ground. And he while like while turning, so his momentum of his body is going one way, but his foot is stuck another way and he, cr- he his foot just fully breaks, right? In front of me. And then he's lying flat, but his foot is facing up. Right, and I didn't think anything of it. So my natural reaction was to get the ball and just continue playing because I thought he just fell. And then when I got the ball, and then I saw his foot was facing, and I said, "Oh, that's not supposed to be like that." To um, see that, I would have probably <laughs> vomited. I wouldn't know what to do. I didn't <coughs> react. I didn't react because my brain wasn't processing it fast enough. So I was like, "Oh, yeah, his foot's facing the wrong way." Continue playing, right? <gasps> and then, and then my my uh, captain grabbed me thinking I was running away from something or running away from the guy because he thought I was so horrified by the by the accident but I was just literally about to like run to the other side trying to score a goal right you were going to score 
but he grabbed me and he goes are you okay and i go what happened <laughs> what happened and then i look back and i go oh and you yep. said the guy was screaming he was screaming they were holding him down so he didn't like run off because it like his first reaction i think was, was to, to yeah to run away from the like run away from the pain did he or, realize like, it question? straight away um i'm not sure but then like it I think it was instant because the screams were instant. But when I play back in my memory, there seemed to be like a 30 second delay. Where he's thinking, probably he was thinking, oh, I've fallen down. I've hurt something. Yeah. But his brain's not really, it's not until you see it. Yeah. And then you go. <gasps> yeah. So yeah, the, the adrenaline would have protected him for a while. Yeah. Like, yeah. From the pain side of it. So but, he had, um, oh, yeah, held oh. him down and then they got, um, they got, that like the, the ambulance came pretty quick and they gave him the magic whistle mm. and he was just sucking in the big ones like, still screaming no no once you get the whistle you you're pretty you're pretty good like you're pretty numb like it takes away all the pain and stuff My i can't deal gosh, with that reminds i me of, um, cannot deal with who that was it? who was the fighter Kick, kickboxer oh. oh do we have to talk about more of these to Sil- to silver or something like that. Oh he, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It was the silver. It was the silver spider. Spider. He, the he silver. didn't. Even, he didn't even realize, did he? Because he kicked, snapped, and then tried oh. to step back onto that leg, and then and he just, just fell, collapsed. Oh. Oh, I if you're interested in this kind of I stuff, can't. go watch the Gordon Hayward one. I can't with it. Oh, it's I can't. Horrible. That is horrible. Well, so many good on. Well, not good on this lady. Like I just. Maybe it did make her less stressed as well, being able to play what she loves to play mm. whilst going through the surgery. But hopefully was it a she success? recovers well. I don't know. We don't know. Um, guys. Yes. Control alt delete. Ooh. No, 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 no. Not control alt delete. Cut cut. Copy, paste. Yes. Totally got the wrong commands. (laughs) Um, The guy that invented cut, copy and paste, Larry Tesla, just passed away. Sad. 74 years old, computer scientist, um, famed for basically uh, creating that cut, copy and paste. Worked for Xerox. Is it Xerox or Xerox? Xerox. Xerox. Apple, Amazon, Yahoo um, has passed away. It made me wonder how many, like, there's so many things that we take for granted, even just like those little shortcuts and stuff like I that. I love where your mind went. Yeah. That is, we were probably in sync there. We, oh, we, we were must in have sync. been. And like, who created them? And no one even knows or cares. Like, it's just like, we just use it. Like Wi Fi. Yeah. Like, isn't I, it annoying? Like, something like that. Like, that as an invention, I guess, is yeah. really integral. Yeah. To yeah. what we do on a daily basis. Yeah. Every day. But you can't, well, I assume, like, it's not like he gets royalties for every time someone uses it. Like, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? One cent oh every time, like, goodness. copy and paste, cut, copy, paste. Imagine one cent He for would every be time. the richest guy in the world. Probably, he would. probably for sure. within a for week. Sure. He'd probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. That's what I mean. What other sh- what other stuff do we use? What other shortcuts? So for me, one of the massive things for me is a screenshot. Yes! I love screenshots. Yeah. Screenshots is amazing. What are you screenshotting? Because, um, just photos of us. But like, it's just <laughs> it's just so good getting screenshots. Us, like, as in the B side word. Group. Yeah, the B side word. <laughs> uh, oh, even maps. Like if someone goes, "Where do you live?" and you screenshot it and you send I it. I screenshot everything. It's so good screenshots on my phone. On the on the computer on the Mac, like I looked it up and it changed my life forever. Like yeah. it just I was like more efficient. I yeah. was just wait. So are you a Command Shift three or a Command Shift four? Command Shift four. Ah. I'm just so a print you'd like screen to control I'm on, your, um... control your screenshots. Yes, hundred percent. Snap, click, and drag. Yes. Mm. Snipping tools. Does Emma, for me. do you know what we're talking about? <laughs> I don't have an Apple, but I know what you're talking about. And snipping tools, same an thing. Well, snipping tools, yeah, <laughs> is the same thing. Do, 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 do. And then there's another one at my other work that they use, which is pretty darn cool. Snagit? Too. Yes. 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 That's for Snag um, PC. It. Snagit is awesome. Snagit and snipping tools, they're both good. So, how um how many times have you um copied and paste? 
in your life, you reckon? <laughs> How many times, or cut and paste? How many times do you think you've done that? Like, I don't know, Dal. I've already then? done it. I've already done it probably more than 20 times oh, well, you're today. you're coding, that's right, yeah. How many a day? <laughs> you're coding. Probably more than 20 times today. Bearing in mind we oh, started the podcast only. at half nine in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got to be in the mills. It's got to be in the mills? Yeah. Imagine one cent from every person that you use copy and paste. So, like, not just every time you you pay one cent to copy and then you press, you can't pay one cent to oh, paste. Oh, so it's for every single key. Every time you every time you do the, that's, that's amazing. I use it on my phone a lot as well. Like, not yes. just on computers. I copy, copy loads of stuff on my phone. So do I. So do I. And I sometimes do it as a protection as well. Like if I'm typing a message and then like I have to go to another app, I'll copy the message that I'm typing just in case when I go back, it's gone. Yes, same here. <laughs> Hold it down, select all, copy. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, yeah, I'll le- a- sometimes I'll even throw it in a note just to make sure it doesn't so will get I. left on my clipboard. <laughs> I do that too. <laughs> so there's two cents. Because in, in the article it said that... Um, um, uni uni um students owe their degree to, to this cut, person. Copy, paste. Yeah, well, I'm oh when I'm doing assignments, I'm cutting, copying, and pasting all the time. Cause you, I'm just like I'm like that sentence shouldn't go there. It should go there. That sentence should go there. It should go there. Interestingly, I never cut. Oh, I don't cut. I just copy and paste and then delete what I don't want. I don't know why. Cause I don't trust the cut as much. Because I feel like if I cut and something goes, goes wrong, I've lost it. Goes to the same place. It. You know, it goes know to the same place. But I have this weird thing in my mind, like if I cut it completely yeah. and I click some button somewhere, I've lost it. Wow. I didn't know you were that cautious. Yeah. So I, so I copy and what I want and then I go back and delete the it's original. Steps, I'm going to teach you something really integral to your life that you Uh-oh. clearly have not implemented. Control V. Control X. That's cut. No, no, no. No. Not cut, not copy or paste. Undo. 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 Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know there's undo and I know it's irrational, but I, I just with the cut, I don't like the cut as much. How about the guy that invented the undo button? The undo button. That oh, is, man. Yeah. Okay. Uber has launched a new feature. To their driving embassy. I was gonna, what's the empire? Driving uh, okay. embassy. <laughs> embassy. If you, if you don't want, if you want to go on neutral ground or your home ground, you can go to the embassy. Uber, the Uber embassy. <laughs> Uber embassy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Uber now have a quiet mode as a feature. Yeah. Right. Mm. So if you just don't like to chat. Yeah. You don't like the small talk or you might be busy, got to get stuff done. On your lappy. When you book in the Uber, you can select that you want quiet mode. Yeah. Um, as well as choose a car with comfier seats. Um, you can adjust the temperature yourself in the car or let them know what you want it to be. Yeah. But there's a catch. Not everyone can get this feature. Oh, what's the catch? So the catch is you have to pay 20% more. Of the fare? Oh. Yes. It's not a flat fee. Wait, so everyone can get it, but you have to pay 20% more. Of the fare? Yeah. Huh. I yeah. think I, I misread that, or the person that did this presenting mis- mm. misinformed me. That would be me. No, no, it was on the radio. I heard this on the radio. Oh, wait, what? They said it was just a $6 flat fee. No, it's not. It's 20% of the, the fare. Twenty. It could cost you around 20% more. So I guess it depends where you're going. Yeah. But That's also, as part of this feature, if you do pay the 20% more and you do have this quiet mode feature, you are basically the only drivers that can do that, that have the option to do that, are the more experienced ones that have done over 500 trips and have a minimum and- rating of 4.85. Oh, you got to be and, pretty high. And maybe. you would need the right vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, I think they can basically select yeah certain vehicles that are like nicer seats. Isn't that Uber X? Isn't that what Uber X is? A nicer car? I don't know. That's, yeah, Uber X is yeah it's supposed to be a nicer car. You pay yeah. more for Uber X. Yeah. So there's quiet mode. My question is, would you pay more? Would you pay more for this quiet mode? <sighs> nah, I love a good chat with my driver. Yeah. Well. 
Yeah. I've only ever been in an Uber once in my life, and that was with other girls. So we were just chatting amongst us. I've never used it before. So. I well, don't okay. Know. Take take Uber out. Think taxi. Have you ever been in yeah. a taxi? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have. But sometimes I don't like to chat. The last time I was in a taxi was on the way home from the hospital. I was in pain, didn't really want to chat and was dreading having to chat, to be honest. So if in that situation, I'd do the quiet mode. Yeah. I'd be like, you know the score. I've already selected it. Don't even try and say hello. <laughs> so oh, wait, wait. I'd say hello. Let me, get, let me get this straight. Yeah. You would pay more money rather than get in the car and go, don't really feel like talking today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but like, I don't, I don't, like, can you, can you do oh that? Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah, of course. You can. What are they going to do? I like, mean, they could just talk keep chatting. You. <laughs> yeah. What if the driver's like, well, sorry, I, well, I fancy a chat. How's your day? How's or, your day? Where have you been? What have you done? <laughs> even better, if yeah. you really don't want to talk to them and, you, and you're too embarrassed to even ask them not to talk or you're, you're scared they're going to talk at you, put some headphones in. Yeah. 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 But like, I feel, I feel like we're relying too much on technology to communicate for us that why? we can just do. <laughs> so why, why did they go into quiet mode if there's if you just put headphones on? Why would you want quiet mode? How did, I feel like, like putting what? headphones in is rude. Yeah. Like you so get what, you're in pay and you're like, money hey, instead. <laughs> don't talk to me. Could I, for instance, become a women's only Uber driver? Ooh, no. that'd be good. That'd be because interesting. I feel like I'd make a lot of money, but am I allowed to do that? I don't see why not. Gender discrimination. But safety. What if it's, How yeah, what if it's, it's a safety thing? But you can't, you can't discriminate. Women and families. Of, women with women it's a protected in, class. I'm going to look into it? this. Some Uber drivers make a killing. What? Some Uber drivers make a killing. Make a killing. I mean, Michael Cullen. who's Michael uh, Cullen? Like, like I, I um, I understand um the this is it. What did you say? What would you say? Discrimination. What kind of discrimination is it? Gender. Gender discrimination. Or sex Gender discrimination. discrimination. Like I feel like like I get the like was it self? What's it? Equalization. What's it? What <laughs> equality. are we? Equality. Equality. <laughs> equality. And the Me, Me Too movement. Between I get the Me, you and I today, and maybe I get it's the late. Me Too movement, and I get all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to like. That kind of stuff, it's like, yeah, we'll allow it. Yeah, I mean, there's women only gyms. I don't know why. I don't know why. But I feel like if that's... If you want, I'll build you the... I was going to try and mix Emma and Uber, but it doesn't really work. Ebba, I'll make you your own app. Emma. And it'll be women's, women's only Uber taxi transport. Yeah. Yeah, I would be up for that. Because do you know what? I would feel uncomfortable as a woman driver picking up men like i just feel a bit oh, how like, would if it was a woman and a man would you be happy with that or is it just purely women i think just women and, and women and children women and children Ooh. women with their kids the emma and dev experience you pick people up as a couple and they get the the beauty <laughs> home interaction with the two of you <laughs> podcast in the car <laughs> the traveling the, car. the, the traveling, b-side car the b-side travelers <laughs> the b-side travelers or what's um that, what's that karaoke makes it sound car? Like what's, what is it? Karaoke car? Karaoke car karaoke. Ka- ka- is it? I don't know. No. What is what's it? it? Uh, karaoke. Uh, James Corden's. Yeah, that one. Karaoke yeah. in a fake car that's being pulled by a. No, thing. so no. no apparently, is, is it appa- fake? No, no, no it's not appa- fake. Appa- apparently, it was only for that one. It's only for that episode. Otherwise, he's always driving. Carpool karaoke. I mean, uh, look, that's it. Yeah, but okay. Regardless. <laughs> Just because we brought it up now, even if it, even if it wasn't him driving the entire time it was being pulled, like that's how they record anything in cars and in film. Like yes. <laughs> the fact that that surprised people surprised yeah. me. <laughs> Wait, but which one was it that he was being pulled? Justin Bieber. How do you know he was being pulled? People were taking photos of oh. him getting pulled in the car. No. Yeah. Wait, was he still pretending? Oh, I don't know if he was pretending. I don't know. Or was he just like? <laughs> I don't know. But like, yeah, I agree with Alexander. That's how they do it. That's how they do it in the movies. Do they if they think they're really driving, they've got to be That's how that's movies. It's, how is it still surprising to say, <laughs> "What? What? 
in <laughs> movies they, they're not it's acting in in hollywood they don't do this stuff it's why not is really it still driving? surprising what i thought this whole time in star wars they were really flying those spaceships <laughs> So you're telling me they're not even singing? Yeah, it's but all fake. No, to be fair, I thought he was driving. That he does normally drive. He said that he normally drive because he goes. Um, I think he addressed it on what uh, on his show, and he goes, and he made a big deal out of it. He go, he made it like it was a. Uh, oh man, I'm missing all these words, but it was a <laughs> Armageddon sort of situation, <laughs> you know, where it's like, okay, there's been some dramatic feedback, and um. <laughs> And people Some devastating news, devastating news, and people putting my name through mud. And I just want to set the record straight <laughs> that I normally <laughs> drive the car, but for Justin Bieber, <laughs> I was being pulled around. So yeah, I wonder why. Did he say why? Um, I think it was a special the stunt or what they were doing was pretty um was pretty dangerous to drive and do that stunt at the same time. Because oh. you know when he's doing he's doing the um, wardrobe changes Dan- in dancing. there? Do you remember when he was yeah. doing the wardrobe changes? You can't do that while driving. And that came in my head. <laughs> and I was like, wow, this guy's crazy. But entertaining. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I love what, that show. What though. was the article we were talking about? Don't know. Oobs. Oobs. Uber. Oh, yeah, oobs. So, um, don't pay the money. Put your headphones in or just ask them not to talk. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. I don't know why. And and 20% is a... a, That's a lot. It's steep. It's steep, mate. And then, depending on where you live, you'd be expected to tip on top of that. Wait, do you have to tip Uber drivers? Probably another 20%. Oh, my gosh. Do you have to tip Uber drivers? Depending on where you live, depending on if it's part of your culture or not. If you're in America, you better tip. So this will only change the lives of maybe Australian people. Oh. Um, there's a there's a hardware store in Australia called Bunnings. It's pretty yes. big. It's probably the only one. It temporarily went to England and then... Died. Did it? It's gone now, yeah? It's probably it only lasted a year or I've something. I've only ever heard of it through you guys, so... Yeah. So like Bunnings in England, it died, right? If your plant dies within the first 12 months of you planting it, you can return the plant. <gasps> Unfortunately, England, you can't return the Bunnings. Like, uh, so there's a sort of segue there, but it didn't work out. Um, Wait, what happens if I was the one that killed it? What do you mean? Why would you kill your plant? Why I've would you buy? I killed all of them today. Touch wood, I have one that's still surviving. You can return it if you have the receipt to Bunnings. If the plant dies. No, it says if you're not 100% happy. Yeah. It doesn't say if it dies. Yeah. If I'm not happy because it's dead, <laughs> why would I be happy that I think the plant? It's more aesthetically, like if you if it doesn't quite if it's not quite the right one. No, no, no. If it dies, I, I don't like the aesthetics of a dead plant, do I? <laughs> I want to return it. This is interesting. I quite like that. This is just so, plants. Oh no, no. There's other stuff like recalls and stuff, but I thought it was interesting because like a plant's a living thing, and like you can't be a hundred percent sure like who killed it, but they're willing to take the. Like, I thought it was pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. When I saw Too that, I was I didn't like, know that before. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I have a little bit of a, ah, about keeping my plant alive because I've killed every single other plant, including succulents. I think, succulents. I think it's because you've had that mentality of cleaning, uh, of killing plants. You have that mentality, I'm going to kill this plant. Yeah. So you give that I'm energy like, to the plant. Reckon? Plants. Yeah, I think that's what Ooh. it is. Talking of that, the energy side. So when I remember this from year 12 biology we yeah. would we were studying david attenborough's book because <laughs> you know back in the day uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, we, love, we love dave oh dave yep um and there were they was talking about the plants and they did like a study and stuff about how plants actually react to communication and like positive and negative communication yeah 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 so like the energy that plants what? receive so they did like they had two sets of plants and they talked positively to one set and negative to the other set and the one they talked wow. positively to grew better and the ones they talked negatively to wilted more you know what i figured it out i figured out why your plants have been dying i figured it out do you want me to tell you so when the kids play their music the plant seems to wilter like when baby shark comes on 
Baby <laughs> shark, do, 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 baby. Sh- he doesn't like it. But when you play your music, yeah, what's your music? A la 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 long, a la la long. Some Afro beats at the moment, um, and some say, say bacon, bacon, and some. <laughs> Wait, how did we go from Afro beats to Jamaica? <laughs> and some I reggaeton. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's mine. Yes. And some nice R and B. Oh. Yeah, it likes it. You're playing Wait, I I am So emoji. you've gotta say you are the greatest. You will grow. I'm gonna do this. Your roots are strong. I was flabbergasted because <laughs> flabbergasted. I one day looked at my beautiful indoor plant and it I thought it had died mm. after after keeping it alive for three weeks. I, I was like, Yes, I'm doing so well. Three and whole one weeks. day three weeks. one day three whole weeks, Alexander. It was like so droopy. It's it was like you know when you touch the stem and it was like just like so just the leaf wilted mm. and there was nothing in there and I thought oh my gosh I've done it again I've killed my I, I can't say how wilted it was right I thought oh, I'm just gonna give it some water by the afternoon it was fully standing up again and the stems were like hard so again so just dehydrated yes yeah I was like mind blown why. Because I was like, I thought it was dead. I was about to throw it out. Imagine and the all fact those that plants. Just a little bit of water. Imagine all those plants that you've thrown out. All they needed was water. No, it's, yeah, it I sounds like the reason your plants keep dying is because you have absolutely no idea how to take care of plants. I don't. I don't. But I'm learning. <laughs> but because of the recent heat waves, mm. a lot of massive trees, like frangy panny trees, mm. did the same thing. And I've seen pictures with where the trees completely wilted. Yeah. Like all the branches are of these frangy pennies are like almost touching the ground they're that wilted and people are like oh my god and they've put water and literally it's just come back to life it is i thought thought for a moment you were gonna say like you've seen all these wilted trees so you started going around watering them (laughs) (laughs) ems where are you oh i'm just at um i'm at lock uh 54 lock street um the frangy panny is dying i'm just gonna water it (laughs) (laughs) but uh, this is this. You know what? This this goes back to my um, my theory about planets being aliens or planets being living living creatures. Um, yeah. And how like the plants the plants are just like the hair and stuff like that, and you just gotta you gotta treat them right. You gotta, yeah. You gotta make sure we're we're just a bacteria that help help them stay yeah. stay alive and stuff. Yeah. Bit of John Travolta. Him's having a good thing over uh, there. Listen to me. This is probably the fact of the year. Fact of the year, I'm putting it out there now. Get fact. <laughs> so, I, no, I you, haven't got a fact. That was the fact. What was the fact? Wait, what was the fact? <laughs> <laughs> what? Can you what? <laughs> you have to speak nicely to your plant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're waiting for the fact. <laughs> 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 I think I think we can loosely call that a fact. It was it, I was just recapping an observational study from Dave. Dave Do is I, reputable. <laughs> Burger King, aka Hungry Jacks, in Australia, aka just that home of the Whopper. Yes, and the real burger. What? Um. Well, you know, our burgers are much better. Isn't that their slogan? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The burgers um, are better at Hungry Jack. Brave new ad campaign. Campaign. Cams. Pains. What they've done mm. is created an advert Yeah. where they've put a picture, well, they've put a video of them assembling this nice Whopper bit by bit. Mm. So you can see how they assemble it just for a photo shoot. Yeah. And they say day one. Yeah. And they do a time lapse slowly, day by day, until the whole burger is rotting. Yeah. As in mold covered. Yeah. Blue mold covered, collapsed kind of in on itself. And then they say something about good food, real food turns ugly. Yeah. And... They want to be preservative free by 2020. I didn't write it down, but I think 2022. Yep. Something like that. Something like that. What do you think about that campaign? I think that's awesome. I want I'm to, with you. I If I drop a piece of Whopper in the car, I want to pick up and it's moldy. 
And we just spoke about this we when did. we gave our useful food facts. Yes, our food tips. Yeah, about how we could, with Maccas, reassemble a burger by <laughs> keeping a bit aside each day. Yeah. And or taking cheeseburgers, I mean her hamburgers on a camping trip. Camping trip, right? right yeah. And it looks exactly the that's same. That's right. Well, not with Burger King, you no. can't, because that stuff turns ugly. <laughs> <laughs> ugly. <laughs> but it's so true to have the audacity to think that a food is just going to remain exactly the same, and if it doesn't, then that then that's something's wrong with it. It's mm-hmm. crazy because at home, if you're cooking, <laughs> that food you're making is going to go moldy. Yeah. Yeah. But people think, oh. Who thinks this way? Wait, who thinks this way? Does someone think this way? Do people think this way? Of what? Have you just made, is this what you think? Or are you you talking for the whole human race? If you turn back the clocks, we actually have a whole. Emma's the only one who thinks this way, by the way. I I think so. I want to set the record straight because we we talked about. I said people. (laughs) We talked about an apple. That could last a year, and we were all weirded out by it. Well, like, but you yeah. thought it was pretty normal. I thought it was cool. I said, "I need the apple." <laughs> so you're the one who thinks that food should stay long. Uh, Can I just say, mm. my apples last a long time. Well, not really, <laughs> because the boys eat them, but in the fridge they remain juicy and crispy. Yeah, I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah. Anyway, back to the burger. Yeah. I like it. Okay. I like the fact they're going preservative free. I like that. And they're showing that it's real food. But I, I wonder okay. how that's I wonder how that's gonna go. Yeah, go. This this is the thing. I like I like it from a conceptual standpoint. I like it from a health standpoint. I think it's a brilliant move. The yeah. ad campaign yeah. I think is an interesting move, however. <laughs> Because you're now getting people to associate whoppers with rotting with food. Mold. Yeah. I did think that. Like yeah. that might be their, their 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 visual that comes to mind when they're ordering a whopper. Actually, I I had the opposite effect. I saw when I actually I saw the thing. Um, I was intrigued with the video on Instagram, and then when I actually started reading the article, I was like, the more I I like it's. I was like intrigued, and I wanted to eat the whopper even more. Because I was like, there's less shit in there. It's yeah. A, it's a burger that will go off. And I'm like, I'm not eating plastic anymore. Yeah. No. It's I mean, okay. I don't have to eat plastic and I don't have to eat, go to takeaway. I don't have to you eat You don't have plastic, to. But for some unknown reason, I like eating plastic. <laughs> but I don't know why. I like, good. I like putting a lot of preservatives in my... You know what? Lately, I've been talking to a lot of people lately. And they go, we go, what do you want for lunch? And they go, and someone will go, oh, it's easy just to go to the Golden Arches. And then and then someone will chuck another idea out. I'll go, oh, let's get Chinese instead. And everyone will just jump on the Chinese. Yeah. And everyone like talks through like their reasons why they don't want to have Maccas, right? They go, go, I mean, I have it and I like, I want it because it's out of habit. And then when I have it, I'm like instant regret after I've had it. Like it, I've never... It's been a while since I ate Maccas and have gone, oh, yes. I am so oh, happy. Oh, yes. I this is the best. That. <laughs> this is the best. Oh, no, uh, wait. When I'm eating it, I'm like that. Yes, afterwards, though. Yeah. Afterwards, it's like. you're like, mm-hmm. I should have got the salad. <laughs> I do do that when I get their salad because the salad's pretty nice. Grilled chicken, extra chicken. Chicken. Yum. Chicken. So, but, um, yeah. Someone who visited from the States to the UK recently said that when they were here, because they'd never been to Europe or anything, and when they come here, they noticed that the meat here is different to the meat in the States. So whatever they've put in the oh. food there and here is different. But it, it, they said like they felt they were less bloated and they felt less lethargic and oh, things like that. So like this feeling you're talking you about. Because yeah. I never noticed it, I guess, when I travel, because I, I, I don't know, I just, I'm not very good at being sensitive with things that go in my body. Like, I. Goes in, I'm happy, cool, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I can relate to the feeling of like after having fast food or something like that, I, I'm kind of like, <sighs> even yeah. to me, even sometimes the next day, like when I wake up, I'm like, oh god, like that. That doesn't that hasn't sat well with me. Um, yeah. But the decisions leading up to it are always like this is going to be a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I just I wonder, like, I, like I obviously haven't experienced fast food in Australia. I wonder if that would be a different experience again, like, because of how they make it for. 
the fast food around the world is different. Like, like I know when I went to the Philippines and I had the fast food there, it was like, it was different. It had a different taste. It's like it's sweeter. It's like they put more sugar in it, I think. They love adding sugar there. And also just differences like KFC in England, you can get corn on the cob. You can't get that here. You could before. They Wait, took it away. What? Ever since That's I've lived here, the you single not best be thing about to. KFC. <laughs> like that, that is an yeah. option. Ever since I've been here, you couldn't. <laughs> no, ever since you, yeah, ever since, but back in the day, you could. Like I'm talking about when I was, like I think I don't even know when they took it off. But what like the option here, it's a bread roll, isn't it? Yeah. Is it a bread roll? Yeah. But, but like the KFC in, um, I think it was Bali or I think it was Bali. You can have it with rice and like. And I was like, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Every time we buy KFC, we have to cook rice for Dev because he wants it with rice. Because I don't like it with the chips. I like my chicken with rice. Mm. And then like when I saw it, I was like, what? What? I can buy it? I don't have to, <laughs> I don't have to cook it at home. Ah. <laughs> Wait, do they have mash and gravy in England? I forgot with the KFC. Um, probably. They, that's what they have here. I don't know. I've not, uh. I've not tried to order it, so I don't know. Um, mm. I don't really oh. eat KFC that much. Oh, gosh, I love it. Maybe that. like one a year. Really? Oh, um, I love it. Wicked Wings. But the, so this, like the different foods, because I'm just thinking about when I, I remember when I was in Iceland, um, we went to KFC a lot because our friends worked there, so discount. Um, <laughs> but th- they had this barbecue chicken burger that was Ooh. unreal. Like yeah. it was slathered in this barbecue sauce. It was delicious. <laughs> And like the piece yeah. of chicken as well was huge. This may have just been again because it was the friends making it for us. But I just remember this <laughs> giant piece of chicken slathered in this barbecue sauce in this bun with this other sauce and this lettuce. And it was like this amazing part of this. And because I, I don't eat KFC a lot, I was just like, oh, this is a KFC thing. And then I've never found it in a KFC outside of Iceland Ever since. Again. And I, yeah, these differences in menu choices and stuff, do they like split test or something and go, well, they Must. this country didn't receive this one very well, so we won't use it here. But like, why are they different all over the place? Or they just go, this country tends to yeah. eat this and this, so we'll, that's what we'll give them, you know? Yeah. But barbecue, like. Hmm. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. bell.